12. Well, we want to start with Fox 13 Sports is Alyssa Charleston live in Houston. Alyssa, great job this week. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us, though, how the team is doing. I mean, that was such a frustrating loss yesterday. Well, as Liz said, they're not giver-uppers either inside of that clubhouse, and that's important. They know that they left a lot on the table here in Houston last night and on Tuesday. They had a chance to win both games, especially Tuesday. That one was heartbreaking. So I will say the clubhouse afterward last night was less bleak than it was on Tuesday. Heads were still high. Everybody pretty much talked to us, and they know they've now set themselves up for a major comeback, like 1995-style comeback. I know that will be talked about quite a bit in Seattle over the next few days, but leaving nine runners in scoring position in a low scoring game last night against a good pitcher in the Astros for Amber Valdez, well, that's not going to cut it in the playoffs. They know that. They were one for six with runners in scoring position, but they're excited to get back to Seattle. That's where the momentum is going to be, and they've got to turn things around right away. But they said afterward they really don't need to change a whole lot about themselves. It's exciting, you know, back home and uh, uh, play against our, uh, our fans and uh, they, they're going to be cheer for us. They're going to be loud for everybody. And, um, you know, the, like I said, this is not over. We go to Seattle and uh, we hope that we take uh, that two, two games uh, at home. No, we expect it to be like it was here, except they're cheering for us. So, um, you know, Seattle's waited a long time for this, all the fans. Um, and I think they're chomping at the bit for, for us to get back there. So. Um, would have been a little better if we could have stole one or two out of here, um, but we, we didn't. So uh, we know we know what's at stake. It's one pitch at a time, and uh, you know I think our fans are going to be behind us, and, and we're looking forward to that. And I asked them what gives them confidence going forward when you're down 0-2. And Mitch Haniger said we're just as talented as the Astros, and they really have proven that, especially in Game One. Game Two will not be easy. They will uh, Game Three. Pardon me. They'll be going against Lance McCullers on the mound. George Kirby will have to do some Randy Johnson type stuff in Game Three, like he did in the '95 series to come back. And Scott Service also said before Game Two, the Calvary isn't coming when they're in trouble. The Cavalry is. Uh, not coming for them. It's the guy next to them. So they've had to do it all year, step back up, and hope that that belief and that hope is alive and well in Seattle. It's going to be a ton of fans sold out, uh, hungry for playoff baseball. Let's go over to Bill Wixie to the place where it's all going to happen, at least the next two wins. Bill, are you feeling any kingdom magic inside of T-Mobile Park? Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's so exciting just the, the idea that Seattle's hosting a playoff game once again, and it happens on the exact same date 21 years later from their last playoff win here when the Mariners uh, went on to beat the, the Cleveland Indians and go on to the American League Championship Series in 2001. Of course, the Mariners would come up short in the ALCS against the Yankees that year. 